Welcome back everybody. We are at Fort One Alpha, also known as Fort Boyan. Uh, this one is, believe it or not, gated off. Who would have guessed? Um, not sure what that is. Monitoring. So it's under monitoring. It looks like there's a trail that goes around it. And, uh, we are going to take this trail, I guess. Should be able to uh, offer, offer some pretty decent views. My knowledge, this is a public trail. So, oh look at that, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> so there's the fort. Pretty sure you guys can see it. I'm not sure what its purpose is today. But, um, looks, looks to be used by something, uh, someone, some group. But we are hopefully going to see some parts of the fortifications. Alright, we're just going to continue down this trail. Seems to be in pretty decent condition. Uh, it looks like the, the top may have been uh, caved in. I don't know if you guys can see the very top. But uh, these were old artillery forts. This one looks like it was not spared from the battle, but maybe maybe it didn't suffer as much damage. So yeah, it's just amazing that after like a hundred and something years, uh, it's probably about 130 years, <clears throat> these walls are still uh, intact. And uh, still retain the dirt and the soil and all that, because behind these behind these uh, walls, like what the one you're looking at over here, there's uh, tunnels on the inside, so that soldiers could have been in there and you know shot through enemy attackers. Yeah, maybe this is like a preserve or something. There's uh, bat houses all in here, which is quite nice. Glad they're doing some conservation work. Yep. Yeah, look at that. It's a pretty good view. I'm gonna see what is inside this thing because I keep seeing these in all the other forts. I've not been able to get yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, I got a light. Corrugated pipe. Just want to make sure nobody's actually down in here. Looks like a there's an old shelter. Probably for the guards. Looks like there's an old mattress down here. It would have been plastered. All the plaster's fallen off. It's 
some kind of cooking cup. Fascinating. <clears throat> okay, so that's what's inside those now. Now we know. And knowing from what they say is half the battle. <coughs> really cool. Sorry about that. There was a guy coming around and I thought he might be a guard or something. But he was just a regular person. So we are continuing on our walk. Oh yeah, there's some battle damage down there. That moat looks pretty, <coughs> pretty overgrown. Such a cool, cool setup. It's really, really neat. Look at this. This has been damaged, possibly during the battle. Looks like that one got shot off. Yep, basically, same setup as before, uh, and some of the other forts that we've seen, wow, this really got damaged. be neat to be able to get in here and uh I wonder if there's an old bunker right there that that they took out sort of like the one that we just came out of oh you know what this looks like a I see some things with bees up there uh I wonder if this place makes makes meat or something or makes honey. I'm assuming deer uh, are the ones that are digging all this stuff up. Ah, here's another bunker. Looks like. Yeah. Same. Yep. So I guess these were, yeah, these were probably built um, with the fort. And uh, I wonder if these would have been for like observation post. And uh, if they ever came under, under attack, they could just run in there as they were uh, observing. Because the cannons should have been up there, if I'm not mistaken. These forts are just amazing, and if you've not seen my other videos, um, basically this is documenting all of the forts around Poznan, which there was a ring of 18 forts, and then the center, center of the city, we had a citadel. Now the citadel was almost completely destroyed during World War II. As these forts started to fall when the Soviets were advancing, the Germans eventually started to retreat towards the citadel and what you had was I think about 20,000 German soldiers during World War II or during the battle um, like I said as these forts fell they retreated to the citadel and I think it took the Soviets about three weeks to capture the citadel 
because you have to think you got these great big moats over here right well it's not exactly easy to get a tank over that I mean that's a good 40 or 50 feet that you have to somehow bridge to get over to the main part of the fort sure you can bombard it and everything like that but they're still gonna I mean they're they're dug deep these uh these walls are at least three three feet thick of brick and then another three feet of gravel to absorb impacts and then you have about three to six feet of dirt on top of that so you're looking at a, a pretty substantial bunker system and uh yeah it was a uh, it was a monster a beast to to get through but, but they made it and uh the city fell i think in late february that's when the german forces decided to surrender <clears throat> i think they had roughly 12,000 left so anyway i think I think that concludes this video um yeah it looks like they they probably harvest honey here and uh it's pretty cool so anyway thanks for watching thanks for tagging along hope you guys enjoyed the video sorry that some of these you can't i can't get into but i'm not one for trespassing and i don't have the time to uh ask for permission so i can just only do the trails on some of these others they're wide open not owned by anybody but uh thanks for watching hit the subscribe button and uh if you like it hit the thumbs up and i will see you guys in the next video thanks